Hi, it's me again with Grilled All Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me for some help to draw a cube with a letter and make the letter look like it's raised off the block. And there's got to be a better way. And I'm not 100% happy with this. <clears throat> but it does look pretty cool. Uh, if you did it in color and you were a printer. Uh, we'll just go through it real fast and I'll just do one side and how I did this. Take a polygon, an eight-sided or six-sided polygon and hit P, put it in the center of the page. And I just did a video on how to draw this block the other day and start from the center and go that line, that line, and that line. And then we're going to see how big this block is and it's 14 inches and we're going to set our nudge factor on 15. We're going to take the Smart Fill tool and we're going to fill that in. We're going to nudge it over, nudge that one over twice and nudge that one over three times just to get them separated. There's one trailing from my last one. And now we can take all these and left click, right click, and we need to group them together and we'll contour them all at the same time. And then since they're a group, they'll contour, go to effects, contour. We're going to group them you know, contour to 0.75 to the inside. And then just take them back, uh, select them all, go up to object and break the contour apart. And then you've got to ungroup them. Because what we're doing, we're trying to get a, a spot for the, for the letter to, uh, I got to ungroup those. For the letter to give us a perspective amount that won't be as big as the block itself. And then you need to pick a letter and I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick an, let's do an F, capital F. And make it, um, let's see what impact looks like. Yeah, well, that's as good as the E was. And then what you want to do is make three copies. We'll hit the plus on your keyboard plus on your keyboard or duplicate either one and they're a little bit big so I'm going to reduce them all at one time just kind of bring one over and see what it looks like and well, let's reduce them a little bit more if we reduce them like this they're all the same <clears throat> I'm going to do this left side or the right side of this but first of what I'm going to do is lock this go up to object lock so we can't really mess it up. Then I'm going to bring this F in. And I'm going to use the perspective tool. And I honestly don't remember when it started. It's been around a little while. I'm going to go from that node to that node to that node. Make sure you go to the nodes and not the edge. I'm not really happy with the F, but we'll leave it. So now I'm going to nudge it out of the way, and I'm going to left click, right click. And I am going to, you know what I'm going to do? Well, let's unlock it for a second, and you'd want to do this on each one of yours. Let's unlock it for just a second and get rid of that so we can bring this back. <clears throat> and you're going to probably want to change your nudge factor to something less like 0.2. Zero two, because I can see that the the way we're going to do it, I need to move that F over and up a little bit. Because now we're going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and making a, and you just got to think about which way you're going to be able to see a shadow. And I'm going to call that good right there. And then you would just do the same thing for all three. Now what we need to do, and this is pretty important, is to select them all, go to object and convert it to a curve because it convert it to a curve will help us snap to these edges. And if we didn't, and I'm just going to go through there, the F's going to be easier. That We don't need to do that one. We just need to do the parts like that. 
Then I would take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Delete that line because we're not going to be able to see it. Uh, delete that line right there. Let me zoom in here a little bit so you can. I'm just deleting stuff we won't be able to see. We're not going to be able to see this inside line. We will be able to see that one. And you could put a line here for grins and then just take your smart fill tool. But just when you do this, remember that you pick the fourth one over from the right so you can do the rest of them. And then take your smart fill tool. And I should have really done it in color. Take your black, and I'm using CMYK because somebody else sent me a file yet today. And then I would select them all and still nudge, you know, get it maybe more in the center. And then here's what really makes it stand out. Get a lighter gray, and it makes it look like the block. And then the next one, I'm just trying to keep the video short, and that's why you wanted to keep three copies, so you'll have that exact same size F. That one you're gonna to bring toward you, and let me just do the top one. Uh, I won't finish it, but the top is the same, but you just put it in place. You don't wanna rotate it when you're using the perspective. Just go and um, get the perspective, add a new perspective, and if you would've rotated it, it's not gonna work as well. You would think it would help but it really doesn't. Let me do the top one. And if you bored with this, just uh, quit watching. 12 inches, move it out of the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and left click, right click. I'm gonna go ahead and touch that, or grab that, select that, and unlock it. So we can just get that out of the way. That was just a reference point. Now this one we're gonna bring straight down because of that. So hit the plus key on your keyboard and maybe, well, you know, it would be better to nudge it. And then if you nudged it, you'd nudge them all the same. I'm gonna nudge it down. That's pretty good. That's a little thick. So maybe go back and change your nudge to maybe 0.35. And that might help you to get them all the same. And then the same thing here, we need to, well, we need to convert them to a curve. I should have really could have done it all before we did anything else. If you don't, uh, snap two doesn't work as well. And then grab you a two point line and go from that node to that node. Don't have to do one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then just go ahead and delete these lines you will not be able to see. You know, you just got to use your imagination. We're not going to be able to see that one. We're not going to be able to see that one. And we're not going to be able to see that. So the same thing replies. And just remember that we use the fourth one from the left. And fill that in. And then take, and I'm really disappointed that F. I should have used another letter. Now, and see, because you've moved it around, uh, even though we nudged, uh, because we made the shadow, let's make it that point two, and just kind of nudge this thing up. You know, don't move it by hand, nudge it up. And then take your smart fill tool once again and get a light gray to fill that in. Pretty cool effect. I'm not 100% sure on the look. I'm going to try to study that, see if I can't make a better box. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.